everyone. Today is going to be a spend a morning with me. It's currently 6 a.m. and I'm just going to take you all through how I usually start my day. Um, I have a huge final tomorrow, um, my statistics final, so I'm going to have some studying um, to do and just getting my house back to somewhat normal. doing that for about an hour. studying and then I will have officially completed my first year of my PhD program and I know that it's only one out of four or one out of five years but it just feels like such a big accomplishment because last year I didn't even think that I would be in a program at all so this is just really exciting and rewarding um but yeah i'm just gonna be going through all of the final things that i need to know for the exam and creating some study guides <laughs> a break to do some skincare and now I'm gonna make my bed so that I can fold all of my laundry on it <laughs> things to do. I have to fold all of these <sighs> and I'm actually going to put another load of laundry in while I'm folding just so I can be productive. <laughs>
always need to take the water breaks. This is why I fill up my ice water first thing. Let's get to folding. I'd share with you guys I think like one of the most valuable things that I've learned this year like my first year living alone um, ever <laughs> is to really slow down and be okay with taking time for myself so I've been like trying to prioritize you know even if it's just like you know folding a load of laundry or just taking that time in the morning to do whatever makes me really happy because that puts me in a good headspace for the rest of the day. I was feeling like constantly drained when I would just start my day and immediately check my emails and do things that weren't for me, kind of just to things to please other people or to fulfill any work requirements. And I just realized that I don't, I don't love that because I feel like I dream a lot about just being able to get away and to live like a slower lifestyle. Um, I'm a yoga teacher and I've always wanted to travel and teach yoga. And I do try to travel, but um, with the PhD program that I'm doing right now, it's hard for me to travel during the year for an extended or long-term time. And so I've just been trying to be gentle with myself and be able to live slowly in other ways. Um, and that's the only way that I feel like I'm even able to balance this and even able to be happy, like be happy and thriving and be in grad school <laughs> um, because those things usually don't go hand in hand, especially when you're in a five-year doctoral program. So I think like feeding into that like other side of me, you know, um, just really the part of me that likes things like clean and likes to organize things and um, likes to bake. Like I, I try to bake like every two to three days um, even if I, even if it's not realistic in my schedule, I make time for it and I make sure to show up for myself so that I can nurture myself and provide a space for healing and growth. And that's honestly been a lifesaver because you can really go crazy and it's not even with just PhD programs, but you know, career stuff in general, like people get caught in that nine to five cycle. And that's something that I've always hated and always wanted to stay away from. Um, I used to do like synchronized ice skating growing up and there was so much like structure with that. And that really just my, my worth or the way that I determined my worth was from external validation. And so having to perform to prove myself just doesn't sit right with me anymore. <laughs> and so I've been really trying to, you know, look internally and let my, I don't know, what is it? Like internal compass guide me. I was poetic. <laughs> but yeah, so I encourage you all to do the same and 
I know that not every day looks perfect. Not every day will you have time to, you know, fold your laundry and uh, make a nice smoothie and all of that. But even just doing one of those things that makes you happy, it allows you to take back control of your life to say like, hey, I can do what I want to do. I can be who I want to be like career wise or however you want to measure success, but I can also enjoy myself while doing that and no one can take that away from you because no matter how many people try to bring you down or how many people try to get in the way of that, if you really let your heart shine and your true intentions really guide you, that's what's going to keep you strong. That's what's going to keep your sense of self and that's what's going to leave you having no regrets in life. Sorry for the, <laughs> let me not apologize. I have to stop apologizing. Um, I've been talking to one of my best friends about that because as women, we apologize a lot. So I'm not sorry, but thank you for listening to my TED Talk. This is the outfit that I'm wearing. I have these cute jean shorts. I have, I think they might've been from like H&M. Um, and then this top is from Aritzia. Um, this necklace was a gift from my aunt and I got these these earrings these little hoop earrings are from a market in Austin um, second earrings I don't know where they're from and these are from Waterford Crystal so yeah this is the fit for today because I'm gonna go downtown to study and make my day a little bit more interesting so come along with me while I make some breakfast. Okay, I'm actually rushing now because I have to hop on a Zoom meeting with my research team, but I do want to have something really quick to eat before that. So let's make some food. Okay, tortillas and cheese. <laughs> that is what I love to eat in the morning. Nothing special, just some avocado and spice and some tortilla with cheese. <laughs> Hi guys, I have just gotten off of the bus and I'm on my way to check out this new vintage wine and bookstore in Austin. So this is the outside of the bookstore. It's called Vintage and I'm excited to go in. I absolutely fell in love with this place. Look how cozy the seating is and there's just endless books to read and for purchase as well. It had a huge menu of wine and tea and coffee and they also had treats too. The vibe was like vintage schoolhouse. And one of the really cool things about this place is that the furniture that they have is actually for sale and the art that they had on display was from local artists. I really appreciated it and I loved to just look around and see everything that they had. was an absolute gem to find. 
Um, I think I'm gonna sit here for a couple of hours and just get some more work done to finish up my morning. Um, and I actually just got a really exciting email from a local magazine that wants to interview me. So I'm gonna get back to them and yeah, I will continue along my day, but thank you all so much for joining me and spending the morning with me and I'll see you soon.